All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, we, our topic is kind of sensitive, and as you know me, I don't take a side and say things as it is. So, some people their feelings are going to get hurt badly. Um, you know, one of the things I hate in my life is a stupidity, and uh, somebody claimed to be a Christian, but yet he's a donkey. You are not allowed to be a donkey when you are a Christian. That is no no. And a donkey cannot lead you to be a human. He will lead you to be a donkey. So don't ever listen and learn from a donkey. For he, if he can do better, he should be by, by now a horse. You know, in China they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And this is the case of many people, you know, like uh, they claim that they are Christians, and Islam is a false religion and like I saw a video of a guy He is supposedly an ex-Muslim sitting with next to a Christian guy and they are talking why the Catholic are not Christian As you know, I am NOT a Catholic. I never been one and I will not be But not because they are not Christians There's things I don't agree with them in the same time I am NOT Protestant because there's things I don't agree with them in the same time I am NOT Orthodox because there is something I don't agree with them. I am a follower of Christ The second you start giving your, your yourself a title, hmm, you are labeling yourself in something have nothing to do with, with, with the Messiah. However, you can label yourself. Still, you are a Christian for me. As long you are following what Jesus said. And then we will see somebody sitting behind the table and start telling us who is going to be saved. Suddenly, people, they are gods. They know who is going to be saved. They know who is, you know, the Catholic are not saved. I mean, we have a, we have more than almost, a, a, you know, a billion and, and 800,000 million uh, 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 human beings who believe in Jesus. And just a guy, he sat behind the chair and he said, this Catholic will go to hell. They are not Christians. Or a, or a, a Protestant a priest, he say, uh, oh, the Catholic will not go, uh, you know, etc. Or the Catholic priest, he said the same about the Protestant. Whoever says that, he is fooling himself. I'm trying not to use harsh words here, but obviously, whoever says that from both sides, they don't know even the Bible. When somebody goes and says to me, oh, the Catholic, they pray to Mary, I say to you, are you an idiot? Are you? If you go and see the prayer of the, the Catholic, they say to Mary, you will see that this is the same words the angels, they say to Mary. This is not a prayer, they say, to Mary. They are repeating exactly what is written in the Bible. Do you know? They don't. Oh, the Catholic, they pray to Mary. My friend, my friend, they say, when they pray, they say, Mary, pray for us. Pray for us. We are the sinners. They are not praying to Mary. Didn't you, you say to your friends, isn't it the Bible says, pray to each other? Pray for me. Isn't it the Bible says that when the angels, they came to Mary, they said to her, the verses we see in the front of us in the screen, this is not their own word. They are just repeating the Bible. Are you saying that the angels who said that, that to, to, to Mary, they are Catholic? Madness. Copy-paste. Nobody want to read. Nobody want to study. Nobody want to search. I don't like many things the Catholic have, as an example, pictures and uh, statues. You know, I know some of my Catholic friend would be upset from me saying that, but I say what I believe. It's very stupid to pray in the front of a statues. But doesn't mean he is not a Christian. He is doing something wrong. All of us, we do something wrong. If there is one of you who don't do something wrong, if there is one of you, he understand the Bible in full from the cover to cover, like perfectly. You must be God. All of us, we 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 we, we might get things wrong. All of us, we commit sin. If everybody commits sin, he will go to hell. Then there's no none of us is saved. So praying in the front of pictures for me is a sin. Praying in the front of a statue is a sin, but those people they are not doing it because they are evil, not because they don't want to be Christians, not because it be it is it is part of a wrong tradition, but because on the top of that, they love Jesus very much and they love Mary very much. 
but that, not because they are evil. There's hundreds of millions of the Catholic are wonderful people. They love Jesus more than you do and I do. So stop being an idiot. Stop being an, uh, a copy-paste like the Muhammad. And you see, we love at the Muhammad and they are copy-paste. But many of you are the same. Copy-paste. Nobody want to go and check. In the video, this guy, he said, oh, the Catholic, you know, brother, they say go and confess your sin. <laughs> do you know the Bible? If you know the Bible, you will not say what you said. If you go to you know go to James five sixteen, it says confess. Therefore, confess your sin, one to another, and pray for one another. This is in the Bible, and it's not about priest. People they prefer to go to a priest because he is trustworthy, because he have. A promise not to leak your secret so if I confess in the front of a priest that yesterday I committed adultery I trust him he will not go and spread the news all over but it is the Bible says we confess our sin to each other nothing wrong with that because confession our sin will make us first first of all feel better secondly uh, uh, we know we express our, our, our being ashamed of our sin not because we are proud of it and that the Bible says that will heal you and this is true a person who have a guilt and he hide his secret in his heart he will feel sad he will feel upset he will feel etc now you want to repent to God but still it's inside you when you confess even science prove that and this is what the verse says that you may be healed and nobody forgives sin who said that the priest forgives sin the priest he prayed to God saying God forgive his sin the Pope of the Catholic which I don't like especially this one I find him very much uh, you know kind of lousy he himself confessed sin he himself every Sunday confess his sin to the priest but it is not the priest who forgives sin if you go right now and search in Google and find find an article written by by a Protestant not a Catholic what is going to save you what is going to save me as a Christian what Jesus said about saving me who is the one is going to be saved Roman 10 9 to 10 read with me please read with me and don't fool yourself and don't claim salvation and don't claim that you are an angel and don't claim that you are God and you are the one who decide who go to hell who go to heaven because you might be there before anyone else for many of those who speak about God they are the last one to know him They praise God by their tongue, but their heart is empty. If you declare your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Do the Catholic believe Jesus is Lord? Yes. Do the Protestant believe Jesus is Lord? Yes. Do the Orthodox believe in Jesus is Lord? Yes. And you believe in your heart that God rise him from the dead. You will be saved. I'm reading the translation here as it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not choosing even translation. Even like there's some words I don't... Uh, translation is not really too much accurate. But read with me carefully. So you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Okay. You believe. Which means you don't even declare by saying things. You believe. Which means you, you declare what you believe in. And you believe in what? That he was raised, raised from the grave, from the death. You will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. So a Catholic person, my friend, or a Protestant, or an Orthodox, if you believe in the Messiah, 
he believed that he's you know he, he, he will be saved by him he, he believed that he he died for us you will be justified by your faith your belief and that is the believing who care about the, the rest of the, the things you are talking about I mean you, you guys are, are are a bunch of crazy people you remind me of the Jews when they surrounded the women she, she committed adultery but there is no guy they are chasing the poor women only and then Jesus said to them you know if one of you don't have sin I mean cast your first stone a bunch of hypocrites so suddenly we see a bunch of businessmen or fake people or ignorant start to throw rocks at the women in the middle and who is the women today the Catholic tomorrow is the, yesterday it was the Protestant so good for you throw stones at each other because both of you are being ignorant and not being following Jesus uh, by the way I'm not saying you don't like you can say that there is something wrong with the Catholic or I can say there is something wrong with the Protestant An example sometime you go to a Protestant church you find somebody wearing his short and having a mug of tea in his hand I mean this is the house of God you idiot do you think it's a Starbucks and the priest or the minister is so coward to say to him Get out. I have my mother once standing with a bunch of women in the front of the church door, kicking out any women she is coming to the church without wearing a proper clothes. How many people they today today they are uh, they are afraid to hurt the feeling of somebody. I mean, a woman, she is wearing a skirt and it's short a skirt coming to the church. What are you coming for? Coming here to show your legs? Or a person is going to have a wedding in the church and then they are standing in the church and they are almost in the bikini. I mean, this is this is, should be happening in Islam, in the Kaaba, when people used to go around the Kaaba naked. If you believe in God and you are a Christian, you don't do this. You are coming to the house of God, you dress as you should dress for standing in the front of God. So there's many that do wrong. We don't judge everybody for the wrong is done here and there. The one who do wrong, he is wrong. Judge him. He is a Catholic, he is a Protestant. Somebody he is a child molester like Muhammad. You know, he is a child molester, he will be in hellfire with Muhammad anyway. Judge the person by the fruits, not all the Catholic and all the Protestant. And you know, it is astonishing. You will not find one of those guys speaking as an example about the Orthodox. Orthodox and Catholic is like an apple, you split it into pieces. But I never saw any of those speaking about the Orthodox, they will not go to heaven. But they are the same. Almost the same. So there is a driven history, you know, there is an ugly history behind this. And I understand that the God of Islam said it clearly in chapter 5, verse number 14, I will spread hate and enmity between you and one to each other. And obviously, you are serving the devil, both of you, when you hate each other, when you throw rocks at each other. Suddenly, each one of you is the one who owns the salvation of God. Oh, I am the right one. You are not saved. Who are you? Can you tell me who are you? It's very disgusting. And it serves the devil only, no one else. And that devil, you know him very well. If we go in the Quran, go to chapter 5, verse number 14, we will find this. This is the devil plan for you. 
You claim that you left Islam, but still you are serving the devil of Islam, sadly. From those two who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one and the other. And that will be until the judgment day. We well, thank you very much for serving the devil. And yet you claim both of you to be Christians. In all days, they used to slaughter each other the same as the Muslims they do. This is how much the devil go inside their heart. The Catholic, they slaughtered the Protestant, and the Protestant slaughtered the Catholic because at that time, both of you were serving, serving the devil. Not Jesus. Shame on you to be Christian. In the same time, you play to be God. You are doing the same as they used to do in the old days. They are the one who decide who is right, who is wrong. And they are the one who decide who go to hell, who go to heaven. And you make fun of, of, uh, of them because they confess their sin. That's because of your ignorance. I acknowledge my sin to you. And I did not cover my equity. This is what the Bible says. But what do you know about the Bible? Copy paste. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. It doesn't matter what the church you go to. Whoever believe in me and die, he will live. That is my my my, my Lord statement. Don't let a human being fool you. And don't follow, please, don't follow people of titles. Most of them, they are deceivers. Salvation is not a hand in a hand of a pope or a priest or a bishop. It's not in the hand of somebody who is a Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. It is in the hand of your Lord, the Messiah. Put your name behind him and forget about the rest. Unite. For nobody will be angry from seeing the Christians united behind the Messiah as much as the devil, which his words is in front of us in the screen. Who he promised that he have a plan for you, that he will string you with hate and enmity. And sadly, many of you, because you are ignorant, you are doing that. Salvation, my friend, is not in the hand of a priest. It's not in the hand of me, the one you are talking to. I am a sinner. Those guys who has given you advices about who is going to go to heaven, they are sinners too. Human beings are full of sin. You see, if we wash a human being in a washing machine and it's made for sin, I mean, I, I guarantee you that the sink will be blocked. The sewage will be blocked. But yet we want to lecture each other about who is going to go to heaven. It is very disgusting. I advise everybody, don't copy paste the Bible in the front of you. And it's these days for free. I mean, you do not even need to buy one. And actually, many churches, they give it to you for free. Just be sure you are not getting a, a false copy like Jehovah's Witnesses. And the reason I say now Jehovah's Witnesses because obviously those people, they are corrupt in the translation, changing the meaning. And they have totally different kind of Messiah and totally different kind. Of, they have actually gods, not only God. They have God. They have gods. And they believe that Jesus is one of the gods. This is why they say in the beginning, in John chapter 1, verse number 1, it says, you know, in the beginning it was the word, and the word it was a god. A god I means there's many gods. So, the Bible is there. 
Why we don't go and read? Why we don't educate ourselves? Why you need someone like me to tell you where is the truth? You do not need me. I am a sinner, my friend. And you are a sinner. And I am no better than you. If you think I am the one who will give you salvation, you are a fool. If you think that guy who is teaching you about the Catholic, he will save you, he, you are a fool. There's nothing is called Catholic will save you. Nothing is called the Protestant will save you. Nothing is called Orthodox will save you. What will save you, there's one name that is the Messiah. Anything else is false. All names are false. And they are not exist. And no name will stay except his name. Follow your heart, as the Bible says in the front of ours, our eyes. Believe in the Messiah, pronounce his name, and yet let your, your you know let your pronunciation coming from your heart. Declare with your mouth what is in your heart that he is your Lord, he is your Savior. That is where is salvation. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, do his will. Some they will say to you, the Catholic, they believe that they are going to earn salvation because, salvation because of the good deeds. My friend, you, we just heard Jesus saying, not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord. What is that? That's mean, it's not just by faith you are going to be saved. Otherwise, if you have faith but you don't have a fruit, that's mean your faith is dead faith. This is what the Bible says, not my words. So, both of them, they believe in the same thing. But one is trying to read it from right to left and the other one trying to write or to read it from, from left to right. As you know, I am from the Middle East and I speak Arabic. That's my first language. In Arabic, we read from right to left. And both of them, they are reading the same sentence. But one of them is reading from the right and the other one is reading from the left and each one of them try, try to play he's a smarter. A person he have no fruits, he is no Christian anyway. So how you can be saved if you have no fruits? Yes, it's not your fruit is going to save you. It is the grace of God. Because at the end of the day, what you will do, I mean, what is the maximum fruit you will give? Still, you are a sinner. But this is not the point. The point is, if you don't have a fruit, that's mean you are fake. The temperature degree outside my house right now is a 23 minus. 23 minus. I never let a dog inside my house. Never. I opened the door. I found a little tiny dog. Poor, poor dog is for dying, you know? I took him inside. How you can be Christian and you have no heart? How you can be Christian and you don't, you don't help others? How you can be Christian and you don't have a good deeds? So what, you are a Christian, but you see somebody is dying, but you will not help him? The good deeds is the fruits of Christ. The tree who will not give a fruit is going to be cut off and throw in the hell fire. This is what Jesus said. So what each other do to each other, they take something and they play with it and they change the meaning and they throw it at each other. Either based in devilish behavior or ignorance and stupidity. And the devilish behavior I know where it's coming from. It is from Islam, from the God of Islam. Your father is the liar. And he is the father of all lies. So my advice, and this is why today I disabled the comment, because I know the Muslim, they will take advantage and they will play Christians and like Protestant and Catholic. We know them. To make you go in hatred and enmity as usual. And many of you are very naive and you fail into the trap very easy. 
you see I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm doing my uh, work I don't want to call it a mission because I don't I mean I'm not really uh, qualified for that word you know I'm not uh, I'm not Peter or Paul I am no queer even close to those names I am a sinner man but I'm doing this for a long time and I know all the tricks of the devil the tricks he play with me the tricks he play with you and the tricks he play between the Christians divide and conquer ask yourself who is going to be upset if tomorrow morning we all or all of us we wake up and we find ourselves in one church it's not called Catholic it's not called the Protestant it's not called Orthodox it's called the Church of the Lord the Messiah who is going to be upset is that the Messiah no you know that so when you divide the Christians you are not serving the Messiah and you are not making him happy and you know that from your heart so stop your foolishness stop fighting each other and stop playing the judge who he know who is going to go to heaven who is going to go to hell the one who will go to hell is based in the Bible is the one who don't acknowledge the Messiah as the Son of God as God of an earth as the Word of God as the one who crucified as the one who is coming back as the one who is going to save us as the only good name came to us the one who don't believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit the Catholic they believe in all of this and the Protestant believe in all of this and the Orthodox are the same so shame on you shame on you whatever your name whatever church you go to you want to correct somebody correct him but don't start saying they will go to hell and they will who are you human beings sometimes he stink even angels they fail the devil one day he was a, a, a great angel who are you I wanted to share this video with you and I hope I want to see unity between the Christians and all of you I call you Christian when I say Christian I don't mean Protestant I don't mean Catholic and my advice to everybody don't use any name don't call yourself Catholic don't call yourself Orthodox call yourself a Christian now I know that many they think that the word Christians mean Protestant that's wrong that is the name is given to you in the Bible this is the only name you deserve or you can be proud about. I mean, what is better name? You see, my name is a Christian prince. Not because it's uh, my dad, he gave me this name. This is the only thing make me proud. I'm a prince by him. Christian is your name. For you belong to Christ. Stay away from all titles. For all of it, it's not true. It is title made by man there's one name you can be proud to have hanged on your chest is the name of the Messiah if you have a better name let me know if you do if you have a better name we'll use it if you think to be called a Protestant better than called Christian okay use it if you think to be called Catholic is better than being calling Christian okay use it I mean let us see how ignorant people are how fake they are don't let the fool deceive you and the fool who is supposedly the smart one in this case is a devil but this devil is not smart because he will end in hellfire anyway if he was a smart from the beginning he should not be who he is now it's just a matter of time and the judgment will be upon those who practice hate who divide the Christians who spread false formation about each other like as an example saying the Catholic is the one who created Islam big fat crazy lie you will be judged for this lie you will 
for you became the same as the Satan. You are a liar. The second you start fabricating lies, you are the same as the Satan. You are no different. You are the same as 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 the followers of the of Muhammad and Allah. This is why the Messiah he said to us, either we say yeah yeah or nay nay. That's it. There's no need to take an oath. For always you should be honest. So I'm not going to tell you how to save yourself. The Bible in front of you, and don't listen to the man who spread hate and division. It doesn't matter what the church he belong to. It doesn't matter what the uniform he wear. For many they will come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. Not everyone. He called himself a Christian. He is a Christian. Don't be a foolish and don't be stupid. There's no place for foolish people in the kingdom of God. And the best way to be smart is to be the same as the Messiah, humble, loving, giving. When you see a person around you, you think he is a sinner, you love him. You don't throw rocks at him. You try to correct him by love, not by, oh, you are, yes, you are a satanic, you are a Catholic. <laughs> Ish, disgusting, he's a Catholic. <laughs> he's the satanic, this guy. Why? What he did? Tell me what he did. Because he loved Jesus, because he loved, because he worshiped him, because he believed in the salvation, because he is devoted for him. Oh, no, he have a, so do you see the statues in the church? Okay, this is wrong. But still, tell him that this is wrong. That is not enough reason. This, this is not your job to tell him. You are going to go to hell. You can't tell him this statue is wrong. The Bible says clearly, don't make images in what is in the sky or down in earth. But people don't listen. Leave that to God. God will judge between us. For me, I have tons of commands is given to me from the Bible. And I broke many of it. So the Catholic are not the only one who broke some commandment. We commit sin every day. If there is any of you who did not commit sin, we go back to the story again of the women who the Jews is trying to stone her for committing adultery. As if they are the ones who they are, the perfect ones. You know, a bunch of hypocrites chasing a poor woman to stone her. They want to stone the women, but they are not chasing the man. Maybe he's a rich guy, huh? Maybe he's a he's a maybe he's a, a rich, powerful man. So they go after the prostitute. They don't go over the adulteress. I hope that this video will change the mentality of some naive ones how they think about each other. If you are a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox, those names, it doesn't count to the Messiah. What count is, what do you have in your heart for him? What do you think of him? Put your hatred in the side and try to pass the, 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 the ugly, disgusting history you have between each other before. It's over. Those who commit the crimes before, they will pay for it. Don't be a follower of a criminals who commit crimes. Be yourself. Be Christian. With this, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. And no name better than his name. No Protestant. No Orthodox. No Catholic. Christ is my Lord. And he is my church. And he is my priest. And he is my bishop. And he is my savior. And he is the only one. I will listen to you. The rest didn't count. Thank you and see you soon again. Bye bye.